Hey guys, I wanted to show you this little uh, Remington Model 6 22 rifle uh, that I just got. Um, I'm going to go over it and do the uh, cleaning process on it and see what I can do with it. See how well it'll turn out. It's not too bad, actually, to begin with. But uh, according to the serial number, this dates back to 1932. So it's an old one. Um, I believe that's the rolling block style. So I turn the camera around here and uh, let you see it. Okay, I'll just do a quick video here of its current condition. See, it's got the peep sight on it there. This is a really small little boy's rifle, I guess. Guess your thing doesn't weigh anything. It's really thin. Uh, but it's in pretty nice shape. Show you the way that works there. So that's considered the rolling block design. It rolls down there. Just a single shot, pop on in, and then you're ready to fire. So, but uh, I'm gonna take it apart here. It does have a crack. Yeah, let's flip it over here. The stock's got a crack right there. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I'm gonna fix that. goes yeah you can see it goes all the way through there so I'm gonna fix that and it shouldn't take too much and clean it up and uh, you can see the case hardening there on the receiver it's it's still visible hopefully we can bring some more of that back to life we'll see what happens but uh, I'll be back with you in a bit okay as you can see we've got it all tore apart there uh, I'm gonna get some water boiling so I can drop these metal parts in. And uh, while that's boiling, I'll work on cleaning up the stock, see what I can do with it and uh, repairing that crack. And then when that's all ready to go back together, I'll come back and uh, show you guys what we got. Okay, got everything cleaned up. So he's pretty well ready to put back together now. You can see it turned out really nice. The, the bluing is uh, just beautiful on that barrel. Um, you know, of course, it, nothing I did damaged any of the, the finish on it. Um, cleaned up that uh, stock real well and then just put a light coat of boiled linseed oil on it. Uh, it just turned out real nice. I'm real happy with it. So I'm gonna get it all put back together and uh, then I'll come back and show you how she turned out. Thanks. Okay, there it is. Old Remington number six falling block in 22 caliber. It'll shoot uh, 22 shorts, long or long rifle. Um, as you can see there, patent on it was in 1902. I think they made these from 1902 up to about 1933, if I remember right. This one, according to the serial number, was made in uh, 1932, which I thought was kind of cool because that was the year my grandmother was born. But uh, turned out real nice. Uh, I, I don't want to call it restoration, it, it's uh, conservation of this old gun, you know, I didn't alter anything. I, as you can see, the original bluing is still there and it looks really nice. I mean, it, it just, just came out beautiful. You still see some of the color case hardening there. Um, and the stock turned out real nice, cleaned that up real well with some lacquer thinner and then just put a light coat of boiled linseed oil on it. And uh, it does have a serial number on the stock right there, and that matches the gun. So that was pretty neat. Um, as you can see, that crack is gone. 
we took care of that crack in the stock so and this I don't know if I mentioned this is the what's called the takedown model it's got this little uh, thumb screw right here you just unscrew that and the barrel comes right off makes it easy to clean uh, just a great uh, youth model 22 it's small it's lightweight but it's it's not too small um you know you can as an adult you can still enjoy shooting it and they're pretty accurate too from what i hear i haven't shot this one yet but i plan to um but if you're interested in the process that i used on this i have another video i didn't want to go through it all again uh i just recently did another vi video on the uh, 1873 Springfield trap door and I show the whole process that I use so if you want to check that out uh, I'll, I'll try to link to it if I can figure out how to do that but but anyway thanks for watching um, I'll have some more coming I just been trying to pick up stuff that I can tinker with and and show to you guys so uh, subscribe and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Thanks.